Would you please welcome Alundra Blaine? She is a sensational athlete. Wait till you see the moves Alundra Blaze makes in the square circle. What a competitor, what an athlete. WWE Hall of Famer Alundra Blaze was arguably the most dominant female wrestler of the 90s and one of the greatest talents in sports entertainment history. Obviously, she is afraid of no one. Wants to take on all comers. The new women's champion. Congratulations to Alundra Blaze. Blaze captured the WWE Women's Championship an impressive three times. Alundra Blaze, once again, the women's champion. With such an incredible resume, it'd be hard to imagine any diva being better than that. You know what? I am better than that. Paige was not only the first ever NXT Women's Champion, but also a two-time WWE Divas Champion. With an outstanding list of achievements at a remarkably young age, Paige is at the forefront of the Divas Revolution and shows no signs of slowing down anytime soon. I'll challenge you right here, right here and now. It's the two most dominant divas of their generations. That is my championship, and this is my house. Paige versus Blaze, and it's happening at WrestleMania. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Norwich, England, Paige. Since her debut the night after WrestleMania 30, Paige has submitted herself as one of the most dominant divas in all of WWE. Oh, dominant indeed. But Paige isn't your average diva, JR. She refuses to be a cookie cutter diva. Paige insists on blazing her own trail. Her opponent from Tampa, Florida, Alundra Blaze. Having competed against countless competitors the world over, I can assure you, Alundra Blaze is no stranger to squaring off against the very best of the best. And that's exactly what Alundra Blaze has in front of her here tonight with Paige, the best. In fact, last year at the tender age of 21, Paige became the youngest competitor to ever win the Divas Championship. This California crowd is on its feet in anticipation of this historic clash of generations. Paige, one of today's most dominant divas, taking on the Hall of Famer, Alundra Blaze. Yeah, and if some of you younger fans out there have yet to see Alundra Blaze in action, I assure you, you're in for a treat. She is absolutely among the best of all time. Alundra's reputation certainly precedes her king, but Alundra Blaze is going to need more than a decorated resume to get past Paige here tonight. I can assure you and everyone that. Oh, that's one way to make your lunch come back up. That's a DDT done with style, folks.
reversal. She reversed it. Look at this athleticism. She's clearly not shy about proving her dominance. And that shot was dialed in. Oh, a serious knockout blow. Oh, oh, after that, not seen. Stars, you're looking at constellations. Long-time WWE fans will never forget the Smash Mouth series of matches that Alundra Blaze had with... The legendary Bull Nakano in the early 90s. You're right about that, JR. I was ringside for their historic encounter at SummerSlam 1994, and I can honestly say that the counter, there doesn't seem to be any slowing her down now. Right on the kidneys. Again, this beautiful diva decides to use that one. Showboating. And the emotion just comes pouring out. She's clearly not shy about proving her dominance. Palundra Blaze proving that talent is timeless here, JR. It's like riding a bike, King. You don't forget how to be good in the ring. And unfortunately for Paige, she's learning Ooh. that the hard way right now. Yeah, but Paige has the youthful energy on her side, Three. JR. Don't be surprised if she finds a way to dig down deep and make a comeback here. No, oh, wait, nice reversal. Line. And she drops like a sack of potatoes. impact to the body. Oh, nice counter. Uh-oh, big 
big move coming. Whoa, whoa. This has got to be it. She goes for the quick pin. And she does it again. That type of speed is so hard to contain. That back is the core to all her movements. That's why she's paying so much attention to it. I can't get over what we just saw. That was a great move. Here we go with a little taunting. And the emotion just comes pouring out. She's putting the entire Divas roster on notice here. She goes. Now that's how you do it. Dropped. And that was a hard, hard shot. is the core to all her movements. That's why she's paying so much attention to it. What a move that was. That was great. Clearly trying to take out the back here. What a display. She reversed it. The shoulders are down. And she's going right after her neck now. So damaging. Oh, gosh. Hey, what do you want for your last meal? Paige may be young in age, but keep in mind, folks, that she made her professional in-ring debut at the tender young age of only 13. Man, that's amazing. You know, that gives her almost a decade of experience, JR. I think it's safe to say that Paige is among the youngest veterans of all time. Sounds like an oxymoron, but you're exactly right, King. Amazingly, Paige debuted with more experience than a good number of divas on the entire roster. with a win. Is this an upset? Alunder Blaze has defeated Paige. Well, that's how you prove you still got it, JR. Here is your winner, Alundra Blaze. Oh, JR, Alundra Blaze with a hard-fought victory over the standard bearer of the current generation of Divas, Paige. And Paige has learned a few hard lessons here tonight that she will undoubtedly educate the entire crop of Divas on in the very near future. Zabisco, the steel man from the Steel City. Another 2015 WWE Hall of Fame inductee, Larry Zabisco began his career in the early 1970s under the tutelage of his famous mentor, Bruno Sammartino. Perhaps the closest friend you have in professional wrestling will make reference to Larry Zabisco. Just a phenomenal, phenomenal athlete, and I'm very proud of him. With a natural ability in the ring, the living legend 
reach new heights in the world of sports entertainment, becoming a two-time AWA heavyweight champion. The new heavyweight champion of the world, Larry Zabisco! A decorated singles champion, Zabisco set his sights on the WCW Tag Team Division, teaming up with Arn Anderson to create the Enforcers. Willing to do whatever it takes, Anderson and Zabisco continued their ruthless ways, capturing the WCW Tag Team titles. It don't matter how many muscles you have, it doesn't matter how many takedowns you learned at some jerkwater college, there's no more easy way you want these! You have to go through the enforcers! The newly formed tag team of Barry Windham and Dustin Rhodes were next in line for a shot at taking down the vicious enforcers. With the title shot looming, it was the enforcers who struck first. Oh my gosh! Anderson and Zabisco had to be a premeditated attack! The enforcers went into Clash of the Champions 17, knowing they had the upper hand. Yet in the midst of their corrupt confidence, it was a surprise announcement like that would apologize. change everything. And I want to introduce Dustin's tag team partner in this world tag team title match. It's Ricky the Dragon Steamboat! And Anderson and Zabisco are going crazy! Will the enforcers retain their WCW tag team titles, or will the newly formed team of Rhodes and the Dragon emerge victorious? and Zabisco are masters of the proverbial game of human chess. And they must adapt here. They must make some adjustments to account for the, the in-ring style, the quick style, if you will, King, of Ricky Steamboat. Now, I don't know about that, JR. I think they have to do the same thing that brought them to the World Tag Team Championship. And that's relentless double teaming and keeping the opponent in their corner. Either way, they cannot come unglued. They cannot let the presence of the dragon get into their heads. He's taking his opponent to school here. Oh, once you get out of the ring, anything can happen. You've got exposed steel, concrete, the barricades, and all of it can be used to cause massive One, damage. Two. Three. He took an incredible pounding there. Oh, out here you have to be able to think on your feet lightning fast. One mistake, one moment of hesitation, and you can find yourself in a world of hurt. That landed like a ton of bricks. Back into the ring now. And he's headed back in. He wants this battle decided inside the ring. He makes the tag. A ferocious clothesline, just devastating. That's some cruel and unusual damage being perpetrated. I don't know what's going to happen here. Now that's the way to turn it around. Now every move is designed to get the fans off their feet. Bringing the Dragon Steamboat, reversing it. Incredible. Oh man, that neck's got to be hurt after that. was a heavy shot. He makes the tag. And now he's back out onto the apron. He makes the tag. Bam! Man, that one rocked him. Executed perfectly. Wow, 
He did not expect that to happen. Second time we're seeing this here. Now look at this, JR. WCW Tag Team Titles on the line here for the Champions in Savannah. This Dustin Rhodes. Ooh, that bionic elbow, Ricky Steamboat against the champion, Arn Anderson and Larry Zabisco. And Dustin Rhodes in charge now. Dustin Rhodes is cleaning up on the opposition with the tag titles on the line here. Hang on, Dustin. This match is a long way from being over. Don't gloat yet. Referee getting Dustin back in a neutral corner. Arn wants a timeout. What? You have exceeded your limit of timeouts considering there are none, Arn. I didn't know you had timeouts in WCW. And Arn tags in Larry Zabisco. Oh, hi, Larry. I was a Bruno <laughs> in Chase Stadium in 83. And now Larry's here. And there's the tag. He makes the tag. Oh, he got him. Look at this, JR. That's a freak out. The cover, we got new tag champions. WCW Tag Team Champions. Ladies and gentlemen, the winners and new World Tag Team Champions, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat and the natural Dustin Rhodes. Oh, what a welcome home party for Ricky Steamboat. Steamboat and Rhodes are new Tag Team Champions. And look at that, Arn Anderson, Larry Zbyszko taking the walk of shame. 